collab. Find out on the next episode of Dragon Balls. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong time, right? What's on wrong? today's episode of Dragon Ball Z, our heroes are fighting the Ginyu Force. <laughs> well, Goku finally stopped charging up. <laughs> Nah, yo, when Goku came back and fucking saved Gohan and Krillin from the Ginyu's, boy, that shit was crazy, man. That's wild. That shit was crazy. He was fucking up Raccoon. Raccoon ain't even know what was going on. My man was wearing a fucking black spandex onesie. Goku was standing on top of his head. You remember that shit? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Leslie, don't, why are you looking at me like you don't remember that shit? Because we really watched that shit as kids and we just yeah. and we accepted that. <laughs> bro, Goku went K Ken crazy on the boys, man. They ain't never seen nothing like it before, bro. They ain't never seen nothing like it. What was my other man's name? Uh the red dude, red red man. The red Ginyu you for snake. Jace. Um, Berta and Jace. Berta with the blue yeah. dick. Jace Jace with the red Berta, Jace. What was what was the little Jesus. frog you do name? I don't know that. Some with a G, something like that. I don't fucking know. Oh, well. Green nigga, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Berta and Chase. They they fucking came or Jace. They came out like they was like hot shit, bro. They was like the fucking the red and blue M and M's in the commercials, nigga. Like they was ready to go at it. Goku took them down in a heartbeat, man. The motherfuckers ain't no speed. They ain't no strength. And they found Kakarot. That part. Yo, there's a theory out there, yo. Uh, What's the Captain theory? Ginyu theory. How do you know, how would you know if, if Captain Ginyu's body was his original body? Since he got that body swap shit going on. Uh, maybe you don't know. I mean, that's the theory. You don't know. Shit. He's not firm. He still, he still got his ass whooped all the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't he? Uh, didn't he try to turn Goku into a frog, or he turned Goku into a frog? Turn somebody into a frog. He turned into a frog when he tried to do a move on somebody, and the frog got in the way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They threw the frog in the way. Damn, that shit is crazy, bro. And then he came back again in the fucking Freezer movie, right? Mm hmm. Bro, Ginyu's a wild boy. But that's Dragon Ball Z for you. How are you, dog? I'm chilling, man. I am chilling. Just been working for the project. That's really the gist of it all. Yeah, I feel that. Same. But I want to save up my coins to spend the summer with my daughter. This is going to be pretty fun. Yeah? What you got planned? A whole bunch of everything and nothing at the same time. <laughs> I feel that. Try to make the most of what you got, right? That's all I can do, brother. That's all I can do. But she's going to be chilling. We got two pools here, so I'm sure she's going to like swimming all day. Um, so, yeah, At the very least, you're going to swim, right? Who? Yeah, well, yeah, she's definitely going to do that. That's that's her thing. You're going to turn into a goddamn fish out there. She's already a fish. She already got this. Oh, shit. Yeah, she already one of them. <laughs> one of them. What, she don't know how to swim, yo? Yeah, she know how to swim. She one of them. Oh, you. You. No, I know how to survive. I don't, I don't, I don't swim. I survive. <laughs> Hey, yo, what does that mean, bro? That means I'm not finna die. What that mean? <laughs> I'm about to turn my pants into a flotation device. What's your What's your MPH when you out here, yo? Like when you when you doing laps? How fast you doing laps? Oh, my God. Shit, I'm not doing laps. Um, damn, bro, for real? Yeah, I'm not doing no laps. Oh man, you're not helping the stereotype, dog. You're supposed yeah, to be like. Do not care, brother. <laughs> What's that in that stereotype, man? Um, I do not care. Nah, we gotta bust that stereotype down, man. Black people, we gotta get get in the water. All right? We got we got come come get them. 
Listen, man, I hear you, brother, but uh, I'm good over here. I mean, if we if you were still a baby, man, I would just tell you, like, just jump in. You know, you, your body is naturally buoyant, and babies, they learn how to swim, like, instantly. Mm. You ever see the videos where the parents, they, like, kick the yeah, kids? Yeah, that's giving me a heart attack every time. Yeah, yeah me too, but I, I just be watching because I'm like, that damn, that's just crazy. Heart attack every and little thing be down there like this. I'd be like, somebody get the baby. Somebody save the baby. And then he just turned around and started smiling, like, yo, you wasn't just drinking that chlorine water, kid. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's yeah, crazy. Growing up, was, there wasn't really no pools. Like, I mean, there was pool down the street, like, not down the street, but like, you know, you had to get, you could get on a bus. You could walk if you wanted to, but nope, we wasn't really going to that. Man, I feel like none of that shit. I just went to the fucking YMCA shit downtown. Wasn't exactly the cleanest pool in the world, but. Got down, got right. Oh, we didn't even put down the damn link. I ain't link us to nothing, man. You linked us to some. You linked us. Yeah, you linked us. Link, link, link. Have you ever seen um Encino Man? I have. One of my one of my favorite Brendan Fraser movies, man. Linkovich Chamofsky. That was his name in that shit, right? Nigga was wild, bro. I want to talk about <laughs> these content creator people who like put their phone up ahead of time to make it look like they just woke up and shit. Like, yo, bro, y'all really doing that? Like, why y'all doing that? Oh man, no, I know what you mean, bro. I what? know exactly what you mean. There's sometimes I question, like, what like, did you set that? this up? How did you set this up for me to? Like, see this, this. Is, this is genuine phoniness, like at max levels. Yeah, the wait just waking up videos is crazy. Like, <laughs> nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> that shit is crazy. Or maybe they got like a remote or something, you know, like a remote for like their, their I'm camera. Not I'm not buying maybe it. it's an app that just starts. Nah. Just no. hey, what about the motherfuckers that phone in their hands? That's using it to make it look to catch them walking by like this type of joint. Like that, you set that oh, from the middle of the day to walk by. Like you really out here making content. Oh, yo, I seen that one. I seen that type. And I I yeah, I'm not gonna lie, bro. That's one of the ones that you gotta worry about. Shorty got a tripod in her backpack at all times. She ready to pop that shit out at lunch at the mall. At the boutiques, <laughs> the supermarket. Oh my God! Look at this. <laughs> that was crazy. Look at this dragon fruit we found. Where you find it in Central Park? Ew! Put it back. In Central Park. That's crazy. Central Park is wild, man. That's a wild response. <laughs> but that's what it is, bro. Content creators or content creators? Dun, dun, dun. Influences in the wild is really what it is. I like that one. That one's a good one. That one's a good one. <clears throat> They'd be out there really setting it up. They got the... It, it, it'd be interesting to watch, bro. It'd really be funny. Hey, bro, you really set that up to do this little walk over here. <laughs> Slow motion. <laughs> yeah, bro. You look crazy, man. <laughs> The general public is is crazier than we give them credit for. It's very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Let's see. What do we have for, for them today on today's episode of Dragon Ball Z? I mean, of the smoke section. <laughs> it might as well be Dragon Ball Z. Every day all we do is go to war. Yeah. So, uh, trying to think, what have I been laughing at lately? Bunch of bullshit, to be honest with you. Um, we got a new Black Mirror. I think we talked about that before. What's good, John? You said we got a new Black Mirror. Yeah, I didn't know that. It's coming out in a month or two. Mm. New Black Mirror dropping. Fucking oh, Guardians of the Galaxy! Yo, I refuse to. I, actually, I'm. I'm not gonna hold you, man. I'm. 
I might not see it until it gets to streaming, but I'm sure it's a good movie. I've seen that. I've seen great reviews, like crazy great reviews. From what I've gathered, from the information that I've gathered, it's um, they say it's pretty good. Um, long story, less long. Spoiler alert: uh, nobody dies. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody dies, bro. Oh, I already did all the bullshit, bro. I done seen all the breakdowns, man. I, I'm not. I'm. That's just it. Like I, I got to that part of my 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 Marvel experience. Um. Like I'm not. I'm not excited to see this shit no more. I'd rather just watch the breakdowns. The fucking what is it? The end credit shit. And then all right, cool. Damn, that's where we at now, huh? Yep. Damn. Ah well. <laughs> Word up, man. There's better cinema out there somewhere. It's coming, bro. So there's somebody right now cooking something up. We just got to be open to it when they do come out with it. We just got to make sure that we clap before they put it out. That part. That part. Speaking of the Marvel Universe, Jonathan Majors goes to court on Tuesday. Ladies and gentlemen, Tuesday. I don't know if we're going to get uh, an answer that uh, that day but we're gonna be able to get some information and this should be good some clues to the scooby-doo mystery for sure yeah man i'm trying to figure this out uh what is it most most people just want the truth man i, I want the action all right i want to know what's what uh where's what who did what show me the video show me the pictures yeah, show me the i see that okay this is one of the it. oh i want to play by play I didn't, I didn't hesitate to show you know johnny depp and amber yeah, Heard. Bro, give me the breakdowns like i gave me those breakdowns man i think i think heavy spoilers was uh was covering that shit, bro at one point sure I, was. They sure as hell was. <laughs> I need it all man oh man I need to see what's up because I want to know. I want to know how this is going forward. Marvel still hasn't dropped them or anything like that. You know, I'm pretty sure they probably got a contingency plan in, in place by now if they don't get, you know, if they don't get through this. But yeah, they're just going to put the AI version of him in the rest of the episodes. They're going to push it back and refilm scenes. They, they got the budget. They got the budget, bro. They obviously got the time. Be taking a sweet time man so i mean hopefully listen man, it's, it's a wild time for cinema yo there's a fucking writer strike bro i know bro <laughs> yo all of my shows man i hope they make it out bro <laughs> when did, did you see some of the pictures of the writer strike <laughs> somebody had a sign somebody had a sign that says um what is this along the lines of pay us pay us or i'm gonna spoil you succession That's crazy, man. Like, bro, they got to pay these folks, yo. Don't ruin that for me. <laughs> they seriously got to pay these folks. I ain't even watch anything past the first episode of season one just yet. So, or season four just yet. Um, so, yeah, dude, that's it's, – it's crazy. I started thinking in, in like, uh, different ways, like, different scales, you know what I'm saying? So – how many people really be knowing what's going on in these fucking stories? Like the writers, the writers got to be kept on lockdown, bro. They got to. I feel like, and you know, all right, that's what it was. Um, I started thinking to myself, what is the pay difference from an actor and a writer? Um, same thing for like a director and a writer. Like, what? How? What's? What's that scale look like? Because I know they all getting different types of bread. Like, there's no way. Uh, Fucking the writer for Quantum Mania got Zendaya bread. <laughs> like you give me like it's possible. That could be why they striking, bro. It could be it could be that the writers room, the writer rooms hasn't evolved with the times yet. So they might still be moving very archaically in the sense of how they're paying them. And nobody ever touched it. It's sort of like it's sort of like streaming because before writers, I think they would just get paid by the movies or whatever. But since streaming came out, how do you how do they how do you do that? How do you, you know what I mean? Do you do you liken it to music streams, which is really already unfair? Like or like or what? Like, but no, they never caught up. So now this is them taking a the chance. Like, I right, I think you need to step it up. Yeah. 
out because I'm not about to keep busting my ass for pennies on the dollar. Thought, and I'm sure they're not getting paid, paid much, much. Like they, they going through some shit right now, bro. Unless something get big, then they getting paid a decent chunk of change. But what I looked up, I think the average, the average salary of of our writers is like thirty thousand dollars. I would be striking forever. Yeah, they could, they could, that's the that's just the average. Of course, there's some in there that's like you know, big wigs and you know move shit, movers and shakers or whatever. But the average is like thirty to forty thousand dollars a year. It's crazy. That's wicked. It's crazy. Hoping that whatever you wrote is gonna hit box office or whatever without any rewrites too, because you know they got people rewriting other people's scripts and shit all the time. They yeah. got script, they got script inception going on, bro. Yeah, listen. Just so the money got to get spread thin. I even heard things or read things rather that they out there also that some writers also get paid by the word. Oh, what? Yeah. All right, that's fire. That's kind of hard. Do you see how many words it is? Well, I was about to say, but then you got to think about like how how much per word. Yeah. Like is they, that might be one of them for real sense on the dollar situations, yo? Like that's kind of nuts. So. He said for thirty k, I would misspell all sort of stuff. They won't be you're writing for much longer. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, get him out of here. But yeah, I I do get it though. Thirty k, yeah, y'all gotta pay me more because if I'm if I'm a part of a writing team that is writing this amazing whatever, like the show take, I want my bread. And then every time that episode airs, if I wrote that episode, I want my bread. That is big, big time shit right there. I'm not gonna lie, bro. And that, that affects everything, not just movies and sh movies and stuff, but it, it affects even the late night show, all the comedy joints, all of this shit is a, is gonna be affected. P -p 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 pay these writers, man. Pay everybody. Why everybody? Yeah. Why everybody out here scheming on the dollars anyway? Just pay everybody. Mm. Just fucking pay everybody. Do you think writers want to be celebrities? Nah, nah. The background. <laughs> Movies and shows making millions, and I get thirty k to get out of there. I don't think writers want to be. I think writers probably mostly want to be directors. Usually, it's like I think it's the natural next step for them. But I don't. If they wanted to be an actor, they they clearly know enough people to get in there. Type of energy, but I don't think it's that. I think they like being behind the scenes. I think they like writing something and seeing how it come out. See, it's like seeing your stories you write come to life. Word. They might really just enjoy it, and I can see that. Hey, everybody, and look, what's up, y'all? Yeah, what up, fam? Peace, guys. It's good to see y'all. It's like, um, just pay everybody, bro. Like, I don't understand why you wouldn't. Like, just you have them. It's not. It's literally not coming out of your pocket. Like, <laughs> it's not coming out of your pocket. Like, see, isn't that the thing, though? The the isn't that the fucking finesse? Whenever you get a budget, the the the, the idea is to go under so that you can keep some. You see, why not use the whole budget? Why skimp? Why cut corner? You got the money for that. <laughs> you really got the money for that. You budgeted for it. So why are you being like this? Yeah, that's the wild part, bro. I feel like writing is such a wild card. These people, yo, man. Last time we had a writer strike, strike, yo, you know, everything went down, shut down for mad long too, bro. I think they said that that uh, Hollywood lost like two or three billion in one hundred and one days. I think Nef wasn't that what, what what came up. I think Netflix came. What, what came up first when they started the strike? I think they said Netflix lost. No, not Netflix. Disney lost almost. I think two or three billion. Mm. That's nuts. First couple of days of the strike, I could check that. This is all. Um, I see a lot of articles. I see a lot of numbers, so I could be wrong, but it was a big chunk because right after Disney, it was Netflix and Hulu and then Amazon and all that, and they were everybody was just losing bread. So, I mean, they better figure it out. There's a lot of shows on the line, man. I won't. I don't even fuck with a lot of shows, but I know my show is about to get chopped. <laughs> and that's, that's why this is the best time for them to do the strike when they got so much leverage. Mm -hmm. It's the best. I support it. I could sit out for a little while. There's mad stuff from the past I could still watch it or rewatch it or catch up on or whatever the case. So I'm all right. Until then, it was the shows died due to strikes. Man, just don't fuck like, with oh, the casualties. 
Just don't fuck with my yellow jackets, all right? Y'all can take that shit like billions, man. <laughs> yeah, I can have billions. Oh, yeah. I can have billions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can put that back where it came from. <laughs> yeah, Yo, let, me, let me just keep my few shows, bro. I only got a couple of my like. Yeah. I've been fucking with yellow jackets. I've been watching from from is crazy. Hmm. Shout out to anybody that watch either of those shows. If y'all like mind fucks, if y'all like if you anybody fuck with lost, they're gonna fuck with uh from that's what like the niggas that did lost are doing from. I just hope they took notes from fucking Lost, man, because that was a. They got the one word titles. What's going on, man? I don't know, man, but it's hard, bro. It's so hard. <laughs> they even got they got the black dude from Lost in this show. That's a spinoff. Not exactly, no, but like it's some weird shit is happening, bro. It's just it's just all around weird shit going on in the town. Mm -hmm. People get stuck in the town and, and some shit going down. I, that's all I can tell you, bro. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't rap. Rap. I don't I don't I don't write a rap. <laughs> that's funny. I might check it out because I now that snowfall is over, I'm just watching snowfall from the beginning without having to be bothered by anybody. And I don't have to wait for commercials and next week, none of that bullshit. You know what shows I don't have to worry about fucking mangas, nigga, or anime. I just finished watching season six of My Hero. Boy, <laughs> I shed a tear, dog. Like that shit was so fucking crazy. Great show, man. Wow, what a good one. I don't, I don't, I haven't watched it. Haven't watched it. I think the next season is the last season. So if you, if you ever, yeah, I know, I know, Ariane watches it. So that's why I was like, I'm gonna watch it. So my daughter and I can have something to talk about in that regards or find a way. I'm always just trying to find a way to relate to her in the ways that she already is consuming information. Mm -hmm. we'll, see. we'll see. Well, even if she gets you to watch where up to where it is now, bro, it's fire. It's it goes there. It's like, you know, one thing that I can say anime has done over the years is done very, very much like um improved with their storytelling skills like the shit that i make it to the end of bro i'm like god damn man like that shit took me through so much <laughs> so many highs and lows man to have like a really good ending and that actually that's one thing i'll give anime yo they usually have amazing endings i've been i've been playing mega man the battle network value one and two don't, don't rub it i rub another in. i'm just telling you no, you tell them that. <laughs> All right, no. <laughs> the story, the storyline is chill. I, I, I didn't play Battle Network two when it came out, so this is like a whole first time experience in Battle Network two. I kind of like skipped it and all that. So uh, this is it's it's high. Right. It's pretty decent. Way better than the first one. I had to stop playing the first one so I can get to the second one because the first one was just so underdeveloped. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's still underdeveloped, at least in this one, you know, I can get you get the different styles and mm -hmm. and shit like that. So I'm chilling doing that, running around, enjoying those those the, the little good gameplay is getting a little interesting. I can't I, right now I'm at a little crossroads in the game. I should have grabbed the chip earlier in the game. I thought I had it, I don't have it. So now I gotta scour the net looking for this virus to kill and get us. It's a lot, but I yeah, could I know. I know. I miss that game, man. That shit, such good times, boy. Such good times. Mega man. So you, so your your plan is to go through them one by one. That's the plan. That's the plan. To have a reason to, um, you know, to enjoy it. I want to just rush through it. Almost like how I like to watch stuff on Netflix, but. Like. I don't want to wait till next week. I just want to just go ahead and get to the next season. So I'm gonna just play it, and then just keep playing it till they all done. I'm sure there's some type of trophy you get at the end. Yeah, you. Uh, so it's like you. You can fucking. Re the thing is, with all the with all the battle networks, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you know about this, but like you could replay them shits over and over again for more and more uh, upgrades. Hmm. Like the more you beat certain bosses, like after you restart the game, the higher the chips go. So you could like 
You, you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's just it's one of them things you don't gotta stop playing if you don't want to. Yo, imagine they fucking give this shit the Zelda treatment. Well, my brother and I was just talking about uh, my brother and I was just talking about if based on how much how well this game does, this rebirth come it does that they should just find a way to let you create your own navi and go around and you know collect certain things like com- com- compare it to like that with um like how pokemon go was but just a little bit more sophisticated i feel like if you was to do some create your own navi shit bro they would need like thousands of possible combinations yo. that's fine it's, it's no different than that harry potter game like it could be on some like uh like it's got to be like a rubik's cube with fucking combinations that you can make for like your navi you know what i'm saying like i guess it'll have a base form whether it be a dude or a chick you could color be super basic like how it was like when you started mega man or when when the show started but the selling factor is the the role-playing customization of it oh yeah Bro, they, they could big time it could be mad bread off of fucking mega man if they really want to do it do it right I wonder why they only did Battle Network that this way, though. You know, like I don't know. maybe they had the idea for video games. I mean, yes, but like you keep keep in mind, like uh, uh, just 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 that style because they they made Mega Man Eleven, I think it was for for the Switch, but it, they just brought it back to like the old Nintendo mm-hmm. version, like Super Nintendo version. Mm-hmm. And I think when they did that, a lot of people, me included, was asking about. Bringing Battle Network to the Switch or something. Because, boy, boy, oh, boy. Go. So, I think they're doing this, and depending on how this looks, they might. That would be a bomb-ass idea. Definitely a fucking moneymaker for them. Yeah, definitely bring Nintendo back back up into the gaming world. Right now, people look at that as, like, you know, the family game system. Like It really is the family game system. It's always yeah. been the family yeah. game system. Yeah, but now they, could, they need to turn up. <laughs> All right, Nintendo out here. Yo, you know how old Nintendo is? Man, old, old enough to know better. Yo, Nintendo was 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 founded in the 1800s, the late 1800s, as a fucking trading card company. Hmm. And and granted, like they've leveled up, but I think what they've done, what they want to do, is like stick to that whole we're a family, you know, game. Place. Yeah, some game where I need to work on my niggas on like a true team work. Now team, I would say a real team working game. That that fake Call of Duty Rambo. Everybody on the under the game where everybody got a, spe- a specific position and they everybody need, gotta work. Niggas need Madden, bro. They need Madden. That's like the the fact that they got all them other fucking games for this shit. They got MLB. They got soccer. They got fucking basketball. But they don't got Madden. I didn't know that. They don't got Madden. Bro, what when I was a serious like switch player, I, I I got nice at fucking 2K because they didn't have Madden. Literally, that's all I would do is play 2K because I was it was either 2K or fucking uh Zelda for a while, bro. And I was just like, all right, man, I'm straight. We out. They don't have wait, wait, they don't got no sports games for the switch. Oh, you said mid, you said MLB and what they else? Have, they have most of the sports games except for Madden. So they'll have MLB, they have FIFA, they have basketball, but they don't have Madden. That's that's the worst shit for me, bro. That's that's where they lose me at. They even got a well, they even got you with the whole uh Grand Theft Auto shit. They got they got the other Grand Theft Autos, but you can't get four or five or, or four or five. They don't have Assassin's Creed on there. They don't or they do? They don't. Every time I type it in, I never see it. I thought that was some shit that you could buy. I don't be seeing it. I think they might they might have that that one with the twins, but that's not the latest one. See Nintendo, Nintendo got lots of ups, man. But their downs are just like they they limit themselves in ways where adults can't really get too crazy with it. And I think that's what you're. I'm pretty sure that's what you were getting at before. That's yeah, just, but I played on the on the Wii. I played like House of the Dead with the little gun thing, shooting them at the screen with the Wii. Like I need something like that. Give me something a little bit more. Oh man, bro. Bro. Uh, have you played Doom on this for the Switch? Yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. It's a good game. It's not what you want, but it's a good game still. You get your fucking 
you know, yeah, I'm gonna kill monster shit out. They got a it's it's a bunch of weapons for it. You got grenades and all that shit, but I know what you're saying, and it it's not that. Because I'm still left wanting, you know, what I'm saying like there's still like I'm always gonna uh, whenever I go to the to see what they have up for sale. I'm like, yo, like, surprise me, fam. Stop hitting me with these fucking 8-bit games as your new your new up-and-coming shit. Like, nobody wants to play a fucking 8-bit game anymore, bro. These kids don't even care about 8-bit games. Like, come on. Let's let's get let's get some fun going on, bro. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was a brand new type of fucking Super Mario Smash Brothers type shit. Like, it don't even got to look the same no more. Yo, imagine they did it like fucking Street Fighter. Um, I like how it is, though. But just even if they upgraded it, well, so would you would you not like improved visuals? Yeah, you could improve the visuals. Don't That's change. Say, well, not like not the fight premise. No, I don't. I'm not saying like uh, not the fight pattern like that. But just like give it the give it the revamp. And give yeah, they can cut down on some of these characters too. Because I open up, I open up my goddamn Super Smash Brothers. Fifty eleven thousand people up there. <laughs> it's be hard to find the people I be trying to use every now and then. Yeah, that's because they want they want to cater to a lot of things at one time, dude. That shit is weird. They could chill. They could chill. They don't even got all the games for the characters that they got that they show you to play. Yeah, bro. They could chill. They, it's okay. Is Kingdom Hearts on Switch? It'd be foolish not to be. I don't think it is, fam. All right, let me go get my Switch. Hold on. <laughs> you about to find out. Well, in the meantime, between time, how's everybody doing? How's your weeks? Uh, how's your day? Happy Sunday. What are you guys doing for self-care Sunday? As you can see, I'm rolling wheat. Before, I wanted to show you one thing. Dad duty tings. Oh no, it just oh, wait. oh that's beautiful, man. What a shot. So other one I had, I had one from <laughs> yo <laughs> Jimmy said Fergie should be uh Fergie should be a, a Super Smash Brothers character. Oh <laughs> And what's her special? She beat you with bananas and shit? Fergalicious, nigga. Fergalicious, she get real big and turn into like a fucking uh, a, a girl gorilla. That's wild. That's <laughs> wild. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, let me get you one of the Donkey Kong moves. Let's get back to the home screen. Let's see. Let's go to eShop. It'd be foolish. They would be foolish to not have Kingdom Hearts on here, bro. Let me see. Search. Into keyboard. Keywords, excuse me. Come on, man. Um, I just Googled Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. Twenty nine ninety nine. It's, it's usually sixty dollars. One day remaining for fifty percent off. Yikes! Uh, and what was the other game? It was Assassin's Creed. Let me go back. They got Hogwarts, nigga. Oh, it ain't the same vibe, though. I know it ain't the same vibe. Is that for the Switch? I don't know. I mean, nah, I feel like if I'm playing that, I gotta play that with a PlayStation, uh, you know, generator. Feel like that should be a lot more smooth on a ps yeah see so right now the last one they got up there i'm seeing this one is free down assassin's creed brotherhood is a free download assassin's creed revelations is a free download creed yeah. i don't even know what that is but the rebel collection is it right now free yep you might need to download some shit like I am playing games, but you know I can have games. But it just says downloadable content. I don't think that's the game. Let me click on it and see what this said. 
Mm, that's probably not the game. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Um, software required to use this. Assassin's Creed, the Ezio collection. You need to spend twenty dollars for that game to get these games. <laughs> Damn, nigga, come on. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't even know. And this is the Rebel Collection is $14.79. Uh, Assassin's Creed Anniversary Edition, $9.99. Yeah, that's really the gist of it. Oh, Lord. Oh, uh, I do have a little bit of news. Um, I finished. Well, to our, our listeners, um, I'm going to be offering print services if you guys need. Um, feel free to reach out. I got a little price list that I can send to you uh, until I make an official announcement. But we up and running. Gotta see what's going on there. All right. All right. Because I didn't get that chip earlier, I'm gonna make sure I put my man's in the right spot to go. That's <laughs> fun to go get the chip. You know what I mean? I messed up. You know what I mean? Hey, yo, are you are you opposed to walkthroughs? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> That's one of the ones, bro. I remember I needed that shit when nah, I was kid. Listen, not not to worry. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching bad PVPs and them shits, bro. What that shit looks like so much fun, bro. What that's my uh that's my 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 time killer in the bathroom, fam. I'll be watching people fight each other and that shit. Those battles are intense though. I'm not gonna hold you. You should watch a couple. My battles will be intense enough. I watched one video where it was like they were um the the character that I was following was fighting all different bases, mm-hmm. and yo nigga was not letting base land not one hit, bro, at all. Fam got that you shit. Blame him, nigga, huh? Can you blame him? Yeah, nah, fam. He had so he had the uh, he had the patterns down packed like the 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 counters on point. He was locking that motherfucker down, bro. I ain't gonna lie, it was pretty good to watch. I'm with it. I swear it's like, you know, it's funny how I, I think I'm pretty sure I played like all of them, like from one through six. I know I beat the later ones. I'm, I know I didn't beat the first few, um, but I cannot remember for the life of me how they all end, you know? So that leads me to think to myself, yo, what kind of what kind of like system did I even have at the time? I remember my my what's the name? My program advance was uh the Gundel Soul shit. Mm-hmm. Boy, man, that was my favorite one to get off <laughs> the fucking ground. But now as an adult, nigga, I'm thinking to myself, like, bro, I probably had no strategy when it comes down to like putting picking chips and shit. I think that was the chip that I needed. I think I just got it. But you had to battle for it, or I had to find this one specific electric virus and kill him to fucking get it. And I did it. Yeah. Chris is a gamer, guys. I don't know if y'all know this, but I'm not. He's a, a, he's a gamer. I'm not. I just like specific games. I'm not down for all of the other stuff. Like Call of Duty used to be fun, but y'all ruined it for me. With I got a Twitch channel, guys. It's Cocoa Butter Shutter at Twitch. As you wish. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking wish, bro. <laughs> Yo, you got to see him wearing a pork pie hat with the headset. He yep. going crazy. You yep, won't. He got the headset. They be matching the hat and shit. He, got a, he actually got a headset hat or hat headset. I don't, y'all. I don't. Check him out. Check him out on Twitch. I do not. He's a liar. <laughs> He's a liar every time he says that. <laughs> Don't believe. Chris be online taking niggas' paychecks. Yo, he like put up the 50. I wish I did, because that might be another way to get some income, but you never know. 
<clears throat> That's it. Twitch.com forward slash Coco Butter Shutter. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. oh, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. He be going crazy. Y'all. To you. He be going crazy on Twitch. Y'all gonna see. Don't let him fucking fool y'all, man. He be going in. Listen, y'all can listen to us if you want to. World at war. Nah, you gotta get that Black Ops 2, fam. Yeah, I mean, come on. Get that Black Ops 2. Just 2, not 3 or 4. Black Ops 2. And get that zombies loaded up. And I see you online, Jim. Game time. I only really fuck with zombie mode, yo. That shit was my shit. I used to play that shit for days. Don't let me have somebody come through to play with me, nigga. We be going crazy. I used to do that shit in what's the name too. I used to work uh in Dumbo around the fucking under the Manhattan side of the bridge. Yeah. Uh it was like at like a, a school or after school program, fam. All all me and the other teacher did was fucking play Call of Duty. <laughs> Niggas got the zombies pulled it up on the front TV. Got right. That's my shit. Fuck with that shit. That's how you really test teamwork. Get you a girl you like. Load up that Call of Duty. Play zombies. If she's a good team player, she might be a good team player. If not, teach her the rules. Teach her the rules. <laughs> Damn, are you still playing the game? No. Nigga, we are online, man. If you don't fucking stop playing that shit. I'm trying to save the world, Craig. <laughs> over here, fucking playing, man. We over here streaming. It's addicting. It can get like that. I told y'all he is a fucking gamer. He trying to tell you he not, but look at him. He. I don't. Even... I didn't touch the switch for months before the Mega Man came out. This shit was yeah. just. Yeah. yeah, it's the same story I got too. Well then, there you go. You should be nah, able to. Nah, nah, but, you, but you was playing Harry Potter the other day, right? Not on the Switch. I was not, and I wasn't playing Harry Potter. I was watching the other people play Harry Potter. I don't own the game. <laughs> so you ain't touch the sticks at all. You don't got to. You don't nah, got to I don't even know how to even do none of the stuff in the game. I ain't never started. I ain't got to save a menu. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. I don't believe you, man. But listen, you ain't gotta believe me. I know you got a. I know you got a ball player in there with the pork pie hat on the fucking I wall. I mean, on the on the I stick. Ain't ain't just shit. <laughs> I saw that shit. What you say? Your what you say? Your character name was? I'm gonna name that nigga Jamal Devoy. More. You yeah. said you did name that nigga Jamal Devoy. I said I'm going to name that nigga. That nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, don't fall for his bullshit, man. He's a gamer. Don't let this boy lie to y'all. Yo, I was just talking to fam the other day. He was like, I gotta get that new uh that new Star Wars. <laughs> no, I didn't want to say that. <laughs> I said none of this. I said none of Yo, the I said, I said, man, I said, I said, man, the storyline to it is good. It's a I good said, yo, story. did you play the first one? He said, Hell yeah, I did. I, did, I like Star Wars. I ain't got nothing to do with the fact that I'm a gamer. These games be out here playing shit I ain't never even heard of. Yeah, you a gamer, yo. I know you be beta testing, dog. I wish. I wish. Yeah, yeah. I just like specific games. Mega Man is one of those nostalgic games. I'm going to play that. Assassin's mm -hmm. Creed, I'm going to play that. Super Smash Brothers, I'm going to forever play that. Ain't nobody going to get the upper hand on me in that game. No little kid ain't coming on them sticks bugging out. I'm cracking their muffin. <laughs> this man's a gamer, guys. I'm not. Yeah. He's a certified photographic gamer, guys. I promise you I'm not. Again, check out his Twitch. Uh, I'll put it hey, in the box. Hey, Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no Twitch, y'all. <laughs> Don't let this man lie to y'all like that. 
If you can't find it under forward slash cocoa butter shutter, it's probably C F B F S H. I don't know what the fuck you talking about now. <laughs> My dog. That's funny. Killing me, boy. Shit. What? Now I was trying to see where we was at with it. I um I lost the fucking connection for a second on my, my YouTube stream. I'm straight. Which I hope so. Let me check this. Here we good. We good. Okay. okay. Have you found any good books or have you gotten any good books lately? Uh yeah, like I was I was telling you about that Blood Done Sound My Name book. I still haven't heard back from that author yet, but I'm trying to find out what's up with that. Google his address. Google his address. He's a, I could go to Duke University probably. He's a he's African American studies teacher there. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I might do that. Just walk up right behind him and say, Hey man, I gotta ask you a question. I, I can't do it that way. He's a white <laughs> American studies. So no, you cannot do that. Just, uh, I, sent the email. I sent the email. Next thing I'm going to do is try to call the office to get in contact. I'm something. I'm going to try to figure something out because the dude story he wrote about in that book, it could be related to me. You know what I mean? Like, what's the, what are the odds? You feel me? Like, and it's the South. Like them last names mean things, for sure. So, yeah, it's definitely right. something. It's definitely something to explore. Definitely something to bring my camera to. Try to figure this out. Definitely take your camera and go everywhere I go. You got to do that. Go everywhere I go. I think I'm. I think I think my cameras are slowly all about to just die, like one after the other. As far as like the shutter buttons go, because some of the shutter buttons are janky. At this point now, they done, and I looked them up. I done pushed them past. <laughs> I done pushed them past. They they planned obsolescence. The X Pro Three is doing all right, but the XT Four, he ain't doing too good. That's Bro, you just got that one. That was like your most recent one. Yeah, but that was a used one too. Okay. So probably already, you know, depleted the HP. I hear I came in there. <laughs> Wild Chris appears. Yeah, and it's pretty chill. The X7 ain't still holding it down. This, this little thing, it'd be holding it down still. I should have used this today. I need a little bit more, more of a wider lens, but I don't know where it's still. Oh, fuck, yo. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Been coughing this whole time. I'm gonna have to stay off the weed. Stay off the weed. <laughs> That's cool, man. My Rico is going through some shit too, bro. My shit. Both of my shits is on their last leg. Photograph this dude making hand rolled cigars. Gangster. He went up to New York to get the leaf. I'm told. Yeah, when we did the what's the name? Um, when, that was one of the notes I took actually when we went to, uh, DC to do that vendor event. Uh, the homie was making like he he was asking our customers if we if they wanted like a a, a hand rolled uh backwood. And we got a bunch of those like sales off actually. Huh. Um, but I was telling him, I was like, yo, we gotta have to get you like a station. Like we could probably 3D print some shit, you know, like for him. Make it real simple and easy. And uh he, he bro, this motherfucker is a really good roller, bro. This is coming from me when I roll good joints, like really good joints, but this nigga rolls like really fucking good backwoods, man. Like them shits are literally like cigars. It's like it's not that he not to say that he he like actually like just guts them and refills them, but the way that he rolls is like it was never gutted in the first place. It was it's really good, bro. 
That was dope. Mm -hmm. I'm with that. I've been looking for some, some, you know, some nice pearl ones. You know what I mean? This nigga's nasty with it, bro. <laughs> that was to say he loves the, the dad photos. Huh? Said Kelsey said he fuck with the dad photos. But thank you, though. Kelsey's a new dad. Uh, congrats on your first Father's Day coming up, boy. Oh, yeah. Buy me a ticket. I'll come out there and shoot. He really would. <laughs> I'm dead ass serious. Once the, the brand, I can't say their name until things solidify, but once the brand cut that check, I, I might be able to make the trip. Right now. Son? Excuse me? Talking about Capri Sun? Uh, maybe, perhaps. I wish. But yeah, maybe for sake of this conversation. Okay. Um, but if that come through, I want I told him I wanted for the I wanted it regional, you know, at least a dad of region. But I want to do this across the, the world. <laughs> you know how very advantageous I am. Why stop here? Um so that would be pretty dope. It'd be ideal. And then once I feel like I've gathered enough of a presence on black fathers, I open it up to all dads and then do the the you know, bring the common thread to all of us in there. Mm -hmm. Uh, that really be it. Then by the time that work is done, the original dads that I photographed who had kids, I can photograph their kids grown now <laughs> or just come back for the remix. Like, so. It's fucking going, boy. Damn. That's pretty chill. I figure I'm trying to get time to, for the book. I want to see if I can get time to he see coats to write the forward. That's nice. I'm just going to send an email with the, with the, the dummy book and be like, yo, All you gotta do is if you fuck with it, please do it. If you don't, I understand. Like, <laughs> like yeah, that's all I can do, bro. That's all I can ask. Literally all you could do. I wanna I like this project and I'm having some really cool in conversations with not only black fathers, but with white fathers and white mothers. One white lady told me that it, it reminds her it's bittersweet because it reminds her of the lack of love and the care that she got from her own father but shows her the all the love and care that her children's father gets not, not that he gives to the kids and she was like it gives me a chance to kind of like see it be done in a way i would have liked it to be done and then some and then also some white men are telling me like they also see themselves in them photos too which is pretty interesting to hear Especially with dad, like see myself because I do these same things. That's what, and that's why I'm telling. You, I want to bring it back full circle with that common thread of what what it means to navigate fatherhood in general. There's a little asterisk on black fatherhood, but um, fatherhood in general is its own <laughs> is its own beast. You know, like oh, yeah. how, how does that work? And and some of them and these other walks of life. I've even written out some uh, potential proposals of how I can pitch this to some other brands to get some more money for it to help mm -hmm. help me fund a book, help me fund an exhibition. Maybe um, I learned that museums usually plan for exhibitions two years out. So I want to kind of plan now for 2025. <laughs> so that's what I'm hoping for. I think that'll go pretty good. And because when I, I, you know, when you look at it as, as a dad yourself, you look at it, whether you black or white or whatever, rich or poor, so the same, the same things that you value in your children is the same things. Like, it don't really matter. Like, you still got to be a dad because to us, for sake of conversation, Jay-Z is Jay-Z, but to like his children, like, and you're not Jay-Z, like, <laughs> you bops, like, you feel me? Like, you're not. And I want to, and I want to see like a photograph that. I do have a three point plan on how I want to start um, uh, promoting this to celebrities. And so they can have me come in and get them on board. The same celebrity. I have a little list of celebrities that I hear on podcasts and interviews talk highly about being a father. So I got their names down who I'm going to try. Uh, Charlemagne the God is on that list. So we're going to try that. Um, who else did I have on that list? I have Charlemagne. I had, I had Kevin Hart. I have, like, I definitely got Jay Z on the one list. Uh, as far as some top celebrities, aim high, nigga, aim high. <laughs> aim high, nigga. 
That's you know? I want all of it, bro. I want all of it. Because once I humanize these celebrities, because I have a real weird situation with white people, like, they love these celebrities, bro. And I'm like, I just want to humanize them a bit. Like, people, I think some people forget that some of these dudes are still dad trying to make it like 50. Yeah, you know I mean, like, his situation with his family is very interesting. At least I think so. I would like to photograph Fifth doing his dad shit. Lord, I fucking am right there with you on that one. That would be so many interesting points to to take oh, from. Yo, that shit would be crazy. So many interesting points to take from. He he would be a good conversation and subject. I think so. Especially because I feel like a lot of what he's going through right now is like new dad feelings. Yeah, because he he feel like he didn't get you know what I mean. He didn't really get the chance the first time around. No matter how big his heart was for it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's interesting, bro. That shit is really interesting. That will be tight. That will be really cool. And then have that that really cool. Cool. Wait, is it's this like really? Yeah, I'll, I'll reach out. I'd reach out. I'd Limited. reach out to everybody. All I can do is hear no, bro. Like, but there's so many fathers in the world, bro. Somebody's bound to be like, yo, I like, and I don't, I don't make whack work. So, I, I could, I don't see them saying like, nah, I don't want to get behind this. Yeah, it's a good point. You got a good what's name? You have a really great uh, point of point of what is it? What's the word I'm thinking of? Damn, I'm smacked. Uh, entryway. You got a good entry point. Yeah. Something that I you want to as a good father or nah? Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's really good, bro. Yeah, you could say nah, but like, don't be mad when you see one of your like peers or whatever. Shining for 36 by 40 at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. <laughs> <I'm mad. laughs> that would be like, damn, that's crazy. Yeah, that's exactly what they're gonna say. That's gonna be the start. You know how they're gonna they're gonna bring me up a conversation and say, yo, you know, he you know he asked me to be in that, you know what I'm saying? But you know, I turned it down because you know I'm busy, I got things to do. Man, we got it. I'm like, nigga, we ain't heard from you since that last thing you did a couple years ago, nigga. <laughs> and if I don't get and if I can't get Tana Hisi Coates, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to uh reach out to Dawood Bay mm -hmm. um and see if he'll get behind it, at least write the foreword for it. I think that would be dope. Um I don't really know. I, I don't I don't have a long list. I think those two people would be like the best people to write the foreword for the book. And what it means to be a black father and how you navigate that and support systems that that comes with. Mm -hmm. You got it, bro. You got it. You got it. It's coming to life. He said, Cap. <laughs> to what part? Uh, them niggas being busy, probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rev Run. Oh, yeah. I, I would think. I didn't even think of Rev. That yeah, nigga say, he, he say, hell yeah. I was talking with Anthony to see if he can link me with uh, Lloyd Banks. I know he's done the album covers. Like you mm -hmm. can just do your shoot. Just let me come in when he's chilling with his son, and let me let me you know. Let me chop it up with him. Let him know what the project is, and he could just either say yay or nay. Like I don't take the nose personally. It's just like damn, I yeah. you know. But I'm getting dads from different walks of life right now. I got a, quite a few dads that are like they're really interesting. Their stories are really interesting. And when I interviewed them, bro, what I like about the interviews. And I hope nobody has a problem with it, but I like having this conversation with them while their kids are around. Because then you can hear the kids in the background being kids. And then in the process of us asking these questions, you hear the dads like dealing with that situation, babies yelling and talking about like today, one of the dudes I interviewed today, he said, Yeah, man, I see you got any advice for other black fathers? He's like, Man, you got to have patience. You just got to. And the baby started going rah, rah, mad loud. He was like, Patience. <laughs> I was like, yes, this is what I want. I want all of this. I want it to be like that because that's what it's about. Like, you're definitely, you're still a dad, even while we're doing this interview. It ain't no cut it off. Hey, go sit down over here for a second. I mean, no, we're going to have these conversations. And mm -hmm. I bring it pretty dope. And I also start realizing that some, some dudes haven't thought about their relationship with their father in some time. Like, there's a lot of repressed things that I'm seeing in some of these conversations, even if their dad was good or if he wasn't really there, whatever the case may be. Um, it's always like a, it's like, damn, man, that's a, that's a really good question. Like, damn, bro. Like, 
I didn't I didn't think about, you know what I mean? Like, and I'm asking them simple, I asked a simple question. One of the questions is uh um how did your how does your dad have to talk with you about race and racism? And how do you plan to have that talk with your children? And like, you know, my dad never really brought it up, or you know what I mean, or whatever the case may be. It was just that some people never had the conversation, it was just a, a lived in experience and they that they just both could relate to. That's wild, you know. I um interesting that you say that man i brought that up with cameron before i'm like do you know what racism is it's like no nah, not really i'm like fuck <laughs> and we gotta have those conversations yeah for sure have conversations there's a lot there's a lot dude it's a lot you you uh you remember school taught us a lot but ain't teach us everything no not at all the things that school should have been getting us prepared for i think it was none the wiser but I, mm -hmm. but I think, I, like I was, like I said before in that post, if this dad work ends up being my life's work, I'm okay with that. Like, that is good, yeah, it's good. I'm okay with that, because I think, I think this is important. And like I told you before, because I don't have the strongest relationship that I would like to have with my oldest daughter, I didn't think I would be ready to even talk about navigating black fatherhood. But I also know I'm not the only one that's probably going through the situation, a similar one, or an even worse one. Or whatever the case may be i just think the conversations need to be had um and whenever i get to the point where i have that round table discussion i might i might just do it on uh here on google meet get some dads to pull up you know re and should we all chop it up in here i'll record it and we'll just you know have a round table discussion and just chop it up about what it means to navigate black fatherhood because i think we don't really get that the, the, that many platforms to even really talk about it now there's a lot of organizations that are doing their best so i know i'm not the first one to do it i'm probably not even gonna be the last but mm -hmm. i'm just gonna, i'm just gonna do what the fuck i can so we need it you got it we definitely You're right man You're definitely doing right keep it up bro i want to get some more up-to-date flicks of you and cam too we up for it you just got to be here for it that's mm -hmm. all i understand I understand. Me and my little bean sprout. That kid, he uh spent his weekend with his, his grandmother pretty much. Mm -hmm. Which was interesting. It's like I'm it's it's interesting. I'm still getting used to him being around but not being around. He's uh he's at a he's at the turning point of, of age. Boy, that, that double digit age is one of them real, real uh realizing ones. Little man, uh He's done. He's done with the two arm hugs. Let's put it like that. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's that. It's that arm around around you. One one arm around you. Shit. You man, you give him that them them two arm hugs every time. Screw that. Yeah, of arms. course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. Two arm. I'm like, boy, you better give me that other arm, boy. You better give me both arms. Or I take one of them off. <laughs> <laughs> What is it's wild though, man, because you know, uh, you know, you go from that that excitement to happy to see you shit to to now it's like, all right, man, I'm about to go do my thing now. Like, yo, Cameron the other day, he just like I think it was yesterday, he just like waved me off. He didn't even come give me a hug. He's like, all right, I'm out. I'm like, oh damn, we there now? We we just we we just doing this. All right, I'll take note. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Nah, man, it's pretty wild though. He's growing up. Yeah, they do that. It's spooky how they do that. Quick. It's real spooky how they do that, man. And, and they just sneak up on you because I'm. I've been talking to Ariane and on the phone, and she just telling me all these things that she got going on in school. I'm like, yo, I used to fucking change your diaper, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I used to change your diaper, bro. Mm -hmm. carried you, I carried you everywhere. Like you know what I mean? Like it, it's 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 sure. it's, surreal, it's surreal sometimes, man. It's surreal sometimes. A little dude got in the car, and his hair was fucking fuzzy as hell. <laughs> I'm like, hey man, <laughs> last time we washed this shit, oh, I wash it every every second time that I shower. I'm like, how how many days you go without a shower, little man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta start asking the tough questions. <laughs> yeah, like, yo man, I need you on top of this. Yeah. The growing up part is scary but beautiful. 
It is. It is, man. And and I'm and I have girls, bro. I have girls. So I'm like really like, you know, <laughs> you're becoming a woman. Like they they got menstruals and all types of shit. And I'm I just be sitting here taking all of the societal punches, like, yeah. <laughs> they mothers telling me that there's little boys they like and they got little boyfriends. And I'm like, yo, they think they got boyfriends. And you keep telling them that, but I'm never agreeing to that. <laughs> Word. Jim said, Jim said, you're going to make me cry. Nah, bro, this shit different, man. Ten, ten hits a lot different, Jim. Um, It's definitely like one of those kid transition periods. It's not like Cameron's not smelling himself just yet, but like, I gotta remind this kid he needs deodorant, you know, like he stink, like this motherfucker stink. <laughs> mm-hmm. like, he, got, he got grown up smells coming out of his little body now, man. So it it's it's a different walk. Mm-hmm. Definitely a different walk. Well, man, is growing up. Yep. I, had to, I, I was like, yo, you had a good time this weekend. He's like, Yeah. I was like, shit, would you tell me if you if you didn't? He was like, he was like, well, only if it, he was like, only if I did. I was like, yo, hold on, man. Don't don't hit me with the metaphors. If you did what? If you did not have a good thing? He said, like, yeah. I'm like, yo, you little sicko, yo. He's a fucking, he's twisted. He's twisted. I fucking love him, though, man. He's growing into his own. It's, it's weird, but it's cool. Yeah, I like that. I like that, especially when I get to, um. so when I ask my daughter about her day, I don't really want the regular stuff. I let her give, get all the regular stuff out that she thinks is important. But then I always ask her to pick a highlight, like give me the highlight of the day, like. And it takes her a second to think about, like, "Dad, what really was the best part of my day?" Like, mm-hmm. and I want to have that conversation because I not, nobody gave me that conversation growing up. Like, it's not like it's like nobody cared about, you know, my day. I want to know about your day. What is the best thing that happened to you today? Like, where break it down, think about it. I, yeah, I asked him that shit too. I was, I was a. Uh, today in the car i was like yo we haven't taken a trip together like we gotta me and you we gotta pick a spot first so like we we always talk about la i was like you know what when you get time um i was like when you get time look up attractions in la like los angeles just to see just to see what's around the area things that you might want to see and you let me know what you want to do and we'll come up with a plan and we're going to take a trip and then i was like yo we're going to have to figure out what we're doing next, though, because, like, if we take one trip, you're going to want to take another one soon after. So I said, uh, if you do well, if he does well all the way up to graduation, like his, his eighth grade graduation with a, a second language, I was like, fuck it, we can go to French. Like, he wants to study French. So I'm like, if you get good grades in French all the way through and we over here talking to each other back and forth in French by the time you graduate, we're going we go to France. <laughs> we go to France. <laughs> We about to go get some baguettes and tea, fam. We about to go sit under the Eiffel for a little bit and talk shit on the shade. Mm-hmm. He started smiling. I'm like, nah, seriously, man. Like, we could just do shit like that because it's cool. Like, you, you, if you, if you work for it, we might as well experience something new, man. Yeah, why not? Why not? And I think, and I, and that's what I'm looking forward to with my daughter. I haven't had the opportunity to take her out of the country. I think her mom has. Her mom, they went, they actually went to Paris, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, but I know I know my daughter like me has a thing for Egypt. So like we're gonna probably go visit Egypt or something, go spend a weekend or a week or so in Cairo or some. It depends on what my money looking like. I wanna do that and you know I would like to take both of them. If they could both go, I'm taking both of them, but one of them going and uh <laughs> we going. And I think that's gonna be really cool for her to have. But also you know. But that's because me being able to ask her about her highlight of the day, it helps me to learn about her more, you know, mm-hmm. so, you know, without her feeling like I'm pressuring her to give me good. This tells me the things she values, you know, versus all of that stuff. Like, it's never I'm glad I woke up this morning. That's the our age thing. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, for sure. So I always want to know what is the type of things that they value. And I woke up this morning. God damn right. We did. <laughs> At this age, bro, you lucky if a burger don't take you out. This <laughs> Damn, bro, you make us sound like we did grab it, bro. He's wild. Nah, nah, that's gangster, though. Nah, fam, that's how you sounded there. With things. <laughs> nah, you, you just value you just value things differently when you know. I I've, I've been a dad for a long time, bro. You know what I mean? So that means 
inherently I had to be grown a long time. So there's a lot of shit I had to like, I, I've came to grips with and, you know, and that's like my own mortality and shit about life. Like that's real. That's real. This shit. I'm, I don't walk around as an existentialist or anything like that. It's just sometimes I think, wow, like this shit can happen. Like, you know, this shit can happen. And like, what what was the last thing I said to my kid? What was the last thing I said to anybody? You dirty rat. That might be a gangster way to go out. <laughs> what kind of life was you living with? That's your last words. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of life you living, yo? But, yeah. Hell yeah, niggas got dreams and goals, and, and I'm trying to reach them in unorthodox ways because it's very, it's very hard to, very hard to fight this fight, as you know, bro. The I'm not clocking in for no nine to five. I, my work hours is from eyes open to eyes closed. So, yeah, I might have to tap out for a second, man. <laughs> I gotta get some bread. My eyes open and it'd be good and shit, but when I, I my eyes closed, nigga, that's when the mind start talking. Hey, no, like get some money. I'm gonna get my money. <laughs> yeah, I'm on. So I'm like, God damn, bro. You know, I'm at, I'm at that point where it's like I'm at the I'm at the fucking. Well, I'm not exactly at the dawn board, but I'm at the part where you you taking what you got from the fucking cave and you trying to make a goddamn Iron Man suit. You feel me? That's kind of he still became Iron Man. Yeah, I know, bro. But like that nigga was hungry too. You feel me? <laughs> like literally hungry, not like not like hungry, also hungry. That's where I'm at with it, bro. I'm trying to come about the cave with it, nigga. I need a whip. I need a suit, nigga. I'm trying to get the jet pack with it. You know, I need all the fixings. Give me the goddamn spaceship. I'm trying to roll with whatever fuck Thanos was rolling in. Oh, we are at an hour. Oh, yeah, hour ago. All right, y'all. I'm gonna put a pin in that. Uh, oh, you got any words for the peoples? Uh, then, yo, don't if if the burger come out in five minutes, don't eat it. It's not ready for you. I just had McDonald's, so damn, I'm naked. Yeah, that's that's why you happy you waking up in the motherfucking morning. You eat McDonald's, boy. You lucky that shit don't take you out. You just stop eating fast food for like a week, and now they the health gurus of life, man. Such a <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> I don't eat McDonald's, nigga. God damn. Yeah, because you eat the other substitute. That's not the same. That's about just as bad, bro. <laughs> which one? Which one are we talking about? You, you, you talking? surrounded by all types of Spanish food over there, on top of more Spanish food. Hey, on top nigga. Of more Chalfa not deadly, bro. What's that? What's not deadly? Chalfa. All right, nigga. Them empanadas. All them empanadas. Them empanadas is fire. I I know. They, it, it, it ain't even so all of them. So is a, a double quarter pounder. Nah, that ain't <laughs> fucking nah, nigga. <laughs> nah, nigga. Yeah. An empanada is hand assembled, nigga. That, <laughs> okay. Your, your boy can say what he want, but there's been times beyond the phone. Man, a burger sound good right now. Hey, I'm, nigga, and guess I'm what? I food. started cooking. Yo, I should send you a picture of this burger I made the other day, nigga. That shit was crazy, yo. You should probably look wow. It was fire, bro. Listen, man, I put the, the, the jalapenos in the turkey meat, pause. Patted down the patty, you feel me? <laughs> oh man, go ahead, go ahead. Patted down the patty, you feel me? I threw some Muslims pepper jack cheese in the bitch, you know, and then I threw that hoe on the fucking pan. She was fired. There you go. I'm glad you. you <laughs> I'm glad you're surviving. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I hit myself with the, yo, you got McDonald's money, nigga. <laughs> you got McDonald's at home. <laughs> yeah, exactly, nigga. That shit was fire, bro. <laughs> but anything the parents yeah, used to make. Us, bro. We for, I fuck with y'all for fucking with us. This nigga Chris yawning, yo. I ain't yawning. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to. My card fell out of my pouch. My little dot card. I was trying to put it back together. Where, where, where? Happy Sunday, y'all. 
Peace.